What's going on today guys? Dean from Dean's Garage here. Today's video we're going to be cleaning the fuel tank on the Porsche 944. We're also going to be fixing the threaded fuel insert that was removed from the fuel tank. I've already went ahead and removed the plates that are covering the fuel tank and I've already started disassembling some things. You can check those videos out in the iCard above. Now if you don't know, the reason why I'm doing this is because I have a fair bit of old gas in my fuel tank that I definitely need to get broken down and out of there so I can put fresh gas in. At this point we need to take a Ziploc bag and we need to cover the outlet port of the fuel tank and we want to secure it with some elastics. Now I used about eight which is probably overkill but the more the better. I've also got my oil catch down here just in case the Ziploc bag doesn't hold up. Now we're going to move into the trunk of the car where the fuel sending unit normally would be and we're going to be pouring white vinegar down here. So now that we have the white vinegar in we're going to let this sit overnight. Now we're going to remove our Ziploc bag, get all this uh, old gas out of here, vinegar, let that finish draining. And then we're going to dump a bit more vinegar in and get some more junk out of here. And then now we're going to move on to the fun part and we're going to spray our gas tank with some water. Just got our garden hose here hooked up onto the sprayer and we're just going to soak the inside of this gas tank, it's moving it around, getting this cleaned out as best we can. We're going to keep running this until the water starts to run clear. We're going to check inside, see how things are looking, and then, and then after this we're going to let it sit for a couple days, get it to dry out, make sure it's bone dry before we start reassembling things. Next we'll be removing the fuel strainer from the fuel strainer ring that came out of the gas tank. The threaded insert that needs to be fixed on the 944 is actually an aluminum piece that gets pressed inside the plastic tank that is supposed to stay inside the plastic tank. Unfortunately the fuel strainer and that threaded insert got fused together over the course of nearly 30 years since this car has been built and that threaded insert came out of the tank as I was trying to remove the fuel strainer. Unfortunately, I didn't get the removal of the fuel strainer on video as it started to become a bit difficult to remove that. The whole threaded insert was just spinning inside the tank and that threaded insert is pressed inside the tank. So I did have to use some extreme measures and things did start to get a little out of hand. Say hello to my little friend. This is our first attempt, then our second attempt. It's giving me quite a bit of grief. On to our third attempt. Moved over to the impact. I was pretty nervous using this method. I thought I was definitely going to wreck the fuel strainer and the ring. I was more worried about the ring, so if I broke this ring, then I, at this point I would be replacing the entire gas tank as this ring is supposed to stay in the plastic gas tank. So this is attempt number four. There we go. this here is the insert for the gas tank and here's the strainer I was also trying to retain as it's actually in pretty good shape just needs cleanup now this is a mesh here now if that had any holes in it then I would indicate it's time to replace that but since uh, the mesh is in good shape on this in overall good shape I'm gonna keep it okay, now we're just gonna rough up the hole for the ring that I got to epoxy back in here for the fuel strainer. You want to make sure you use some form of uh, degreaser on the area before you go ahead and try and uh, get some epoxy on there. Just uh, 
I'll put it here a little bit better. There shouldn't be any grease in there, but just in case there's some substance on there, you want to make sure you're getting uh, the best adhesion possible. We're going to go ahead and clean the, uh, the ring as well. Get some degreaser on there too. So here I'm just test fitting the ring that's supposed to be in the tank and I discovered I'm going to have to cut a bit of this lip off that I'm, just to get this ring to fit back in. So we're going to have to trim it up and we're going to have to file it down and then we'll have the room we need to get this ring back in. Any plastic you cut out, you want to really make sure you don't get that in the tank and leave it in there. Make sure you're getting it all out. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure that the surface is nice and flat. I got a little bit carried away here. And now I don't have a flat surface, so I've created a point where I'd be highly likely to leak even with the gasket. So I'm going to sand it down, file it down, sorry, and get it so it's a nice flat surface. So if you go to do this and you end up using a material like this, which is water weld epoxy uh, in putty form, uh, my recommendation is to cut off the end that you're using, like if it's a new tube, cut off the end and use the next piece in because the end I found was a bit dry. So you will probably want to cut that off and just throw it out because I'm mixing this for the second time around and this is mixing a lot easier. Like it's actually in a putty form and it's quite tacky um, where before it felt a little bit dry and uh, some parts were a little bit hard still so it probably wouldn't have worked as well as this is going to. So just keep that in mind if you're going to be using this. This is the uh, the JB water weld. So it's good for uh, submersion in gasoline it says. So we'll see how well it works for this. Hopefully we don't get any leaks. But really this isn't going to be sealing anything. All this is doing is holding this ring in place. And you want to make sure you get something that's good to be submerged in uh, gasoline. Because you don't want the gasoline to eat away at it. Okay. So, got it in there. Now we're going to take our epoxy. Just want to make sure it's all worked in really well. Easy to work with. And one consistent color. Because then you'll know the inside chunk will be mixed in well with the outside layer. So I think I'm just going to apply a bit on the inside here. I'm just working it in the best I can all the way around and then I'm going to do the same on this. Now just on this front portion where these ridges are because the back portion is just going to be hanging in the tank. It's not going to be pressing up against any surface area. Okay, let's see how well she goes in. This is going to be my bottom in here. I'm going to go get a hammer and a piece of wood. Now she's sunken in a bit. Now the reason the ring is there just to tighten down the fuel strainer. It's not there to seal. The fuel strainer will be sealing between a gasket 
and this plastic outer ring. Okay, so we got our fuel strainer here cleaned up best I was able to. Got our gasket on here as well. This is the rubber gasket, which will be pinched between the strainer and the tank. Now I'm just putting this in here to make sure my ring is nice and round. And oh yeah, she's going in nice and easy. Beautiful. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you liked the video, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. And if you guys have an alternate method of how I fix the fuel strainer insert on this car, I would love to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. Because if you have another way of doing things and this fails on me, I can maybe try your method in the future. We'll see you guys on the next one.